Hey y'all, what is up? And today we are going to a pond uh, close to our city that we live in. And uh, we're gonna go throw some frogs, flukes, sinkos, all the above and some grass. And uh, we're here at the boat right now, grabbing a couple things, grabbing some flukes. And uh, yeah, what I just said. And uh, we'll grab the stuff and we'll be on our way. Well, halfway to the pond, that is not very far at all, maybe five to ten minutes, we make a little bit of a crash. At least it wasn't me, though. It's my dad. How do you feel about this, Dill? Dang. Dang. Is it bad? There's a cop? Oh, okay. crap. <laughs> they need a trigger. These people are trying to get past. Oh. Dude, I literally had a dream about this last night. You did not have a dream not about this. Dream. I had a dream that I crashed a car. You crashed a car? It's quite interesting. All right. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we're gonna go fishing. I gotta go see this. There's legit nothing there, Dill. There's, there's nothing there. How is there nothing there? Um, no, there is. See the white there spot? is? Yeah, I was looking oh, this way. This. Ooh, look at that Lamborghini. Oh my ice. Yeah. I was looking the other way and I assumed. Assumed. Yeah. I assumed and I was just doing the normal. Do you want to tell you to watch? How you get into the bad habit? Yep. I was just in the habit, and I would just kind of like roll forward. And was rolling forward right into her. All them other boys wanna wind you up and take you downtown. Yeah. God, that is bad. Luke Bryant. Thank you. All right, guys, we're here, and uh, I'm gonna first go over a little bit on uh, my setups and uh, what I'll be throwing uh, around in this pond right here is you'll see in a second we have a bunch of grass mats and everything uh, all the above on grass and uh, <clears throat> uh, one thing right here my favorite frog is this is just a spro it has a little bit of a white belly on it and uh, kind of like a gray top and a little bit of red right here uh, at the mouth and um, that right there is what I'll be throwing a lot I got the trim's tail I mean the tails trimmed lightly um, I want to trim up just a little bit more than I have them trimmed up and uh, I'm working this on I wouldn't recommend this but this is just a medium seven pa um, seven one foot uh, rod uh, mojo bass and so right here I have a spinning this will this will be my rod I'm throwing the flukes and uh, and Cinco's on right here so it's just weightless this is a three aught worm hook and uh, as you see, it bends back in just a little bit more. This is a uh, VMC. This is a heavy duty three out worm hook. And then uh, right here, I have the 10 pound. This is actually my drop shot setup I usually use. This is 10 pound um, spider wire, spider wire braid, and then it's the Invisa braid that they make. So it just uh, it's a little bit more of a braid that blends in with the water uh, water column. And so. This right here is just a $40 Shimano Sienna. And then uh, right here is the, this is one of the new Ike rods by uh, Abu Garcia. And uh, I think this one runs about hundred bucks. Dills, the Abu Garcia Ike rods, a hundred bucks. They're like 120. But uh, I, got one of the, I got one of these about a month ago. They've been great. Uh, the tournament Toledo, we, I use these in, they did great. They held up nicely and uh, got some of those. I use a stiffer rod for like a drop shot and uh, 
because I usually go a little bit deeper. Whenever I'm going deeper, I'll use a stiffer rod, but a lot of people like those, those fairy wands that are really flimsy, uh, but that's just not me. I usually lean into them very, very lightly, so um, it's okay to have a stiff rod if you can do that. Uh, this is a 7.2 medium, and then, um, yeah, it's like 6 to 12 pound line on uh, this rod is recommended. So uh, let's get done with the talking and uh, get to the fishing. So I have flukes. I'll show you some of the flukes and the... I use these weightless. The ta This is really old bag, so the tag ain't on it. But this is just a zoom. Zoom trick worm that's a green pumpkin with a chartreuse tail. I'll work this weightless. And then I also have a uh, just a white white pearl fluke that I'll also work weightless. So these two, and then I have my frog. And that's what I'll be focusing on and uh, dialing in on. Uh, so yeah, let's get to fishing. Now this guy's right here is what it's all about. You gotta find the you gotta find the ponds that they don't want you at. Because that's where you get the good ones. There it goes. There it goes. A little one on the frog. There we go. It's a little guy. Spur frog. Yeah, get up in there. He hit that hard. Look at that. Good little fish. Little dude. Get this back in the water. I was just throw up on that bank as y'all saw, and uh, probably got the probably got the blow up on film, but y'all saw the. I just threw it up right next to the bank, pop it a few times, and out he came. That was a good one. God, I got him good. Oh, we got off. Ran me in the grass and got off. There's one. He ain't even fighting. He ate it though. Gosh, he took that deep. Another real little one. Real little one. My gosh. Off that trick worm again. Hey, keep getting at it. There's a lot of small ones here. I catch a bunch here, but sometimes it's not that good of size. We'll keep catching them though. There's one. There we go. That weightless trick worm. I didn't even know he had it. He just came up and came up and grabbed it when I wasn't looking. Buzzing on the top. Y'all go try these uh, heavy duty uh, VMCs. I like those heavy duty a little bit more. Uh, they hold up and don't break as often. And they're the same price, too. It's a little fish. We're catching a lot of small ones. We gotta get some size. Oh, I got one. Gotta get out of that grass. Is he in there? 
Can't even see. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's in there. You got one too? Oh. Doubling up. Oh, that's a good one. That's a better one. A little bit better. Picked up the bow today and it's working all good. Oh my gosh! He hit it! He finally hit it! Oh my gosh! That's like a pound and a half. Yeah, it's like a pound and a half. Maybe two. I don't know. It's thick. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like a giant though. You know what that is? Huh? Oh! In the grass. Oh my gosh. He got off. <sighs> right on that grass line. Freaking cream the fluke. Good try. Yeah! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Not again! Dumb! It's not good over there! Bet! There's one! That's a nice belly on that one. Oh my gosh. That's a good one right there. That's a real fat fish. Oh my gosh. Look at the belly on that. That's a nice one. It's pretty short. But that is a fat fish. Ate the fluke. Oh my gosh. There we go. Get this guy back in the water. bad fight either nice fluke fish it's been nice it's been nice catching them tonight try to catch a couple more and then uh, be on our way what a shot oh my gosh that's a baby frog fish It's like squirming around. I didn't even have the camera turned on for this one. That is a baby. Hey. He is really triggered right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, what's coming up? Oh, what's coming up? Dang. Squeakers. They are eating right now. God, I ain't got a picture of this.
All right, guys, it is time to go. Thanks so much for watching. Please follow on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and also Snapchat, Cowan underscore Cameron5. A um, couple things I would have changed today is maybe had a higher, um, a little bit more of a bulky setup today. And uh, we just had like light braid and stuff, and it was very, very grassy, and it was hard to pull those fish out, especially some of the good ones that we had on. They just ran into the grass. It was hard for us to get them out of there. So uh, I would have thrown probably a bait caster, something a little bit heavier, and uh, maybe some good like 20, 30 pound braid to get them out of the hydrilla. And um, that's pretty much it. Thanks y'all so much for watching, and uh, we'll see y'all next time.